so today I'm going to show you very important stuff. Uh, we're going to talk about events and how you can listen to events that are happening on a certain smart contract. And we're going to use the smart contract I've already deployed, this one. And we already know by now that this is an ERC20 token and this ERC20 standard as we can see here it has uh, basically it has a lot of function and events and events are those things where uh, defined let's see if I can find the transfer event if I type in transfer uh, or let's just look event let's see if we, if we, have, if we have okay so this is an improve event this is a transfer event so I cannot find the actual events here but it doesn't really matter well let's see what are events first of all so whenever ha something happens on a given smart contract what you can do is e emit an event and why do you need these events? First of all, uh, because whenever something happens, you may want to update your front, your web, web app, and or I should say your dApp. And these smart events allow you to do exactly that. So when you emit an event inside your smart contracts, uh, you can listen to that event on the front end and maybe update, update the UI. And they're also a cheaper way to store data because once you emit them, they're basically this is like a logging mechanism, and all the data that you emit will be stored inside the logs of the smart contract. And this ERC20 standard, I cannot find them here, they're probably written somewhere else, I'm not sure, and probably in these contracts, but but let's go ahead and start coding. So let's create uh, a const here. We're going to call this check events. We're going to say it's going to be an async function. So let's define async. Let's create this, create the body of the function. And then let's create our contract. Our contract is now called test contract. So it's not sub. Uh, sub now, We're, this is not the subscribe token, but I'm just going to leave this like so. So let's say contract, and then I'm going to say equal to new ethers. We're going to use the ethers library, and this then say contract, and let's provide here the address, which is this one subcontract address. Uh, this is the address of the of the contract that we're going to listen events from and then we have the ABI and let's see if I find this and also here instead of uh, only instead of doing this provider that get signer I'm going to only use provider because get signer is not needed get signer is basically I didn't explain this in the previous video but get signers is only to to basically a request from the user get signer is actually used to when you are actually making a transaction and here we're not really making a transaction where, where we change the state of the blockchain but we're only reading data from the blockchain which means we'll only use provider here so let's go ahead and uh, access this test contract and this is the actual listening we're going to listen with this on function so on what something should happen so we're listening for the transfer event that I didn't find previously I tried to show you how it looks but yeah I think you can find it on your own and also here we need to pass a callback that's going to be called whenever this transfer event uh, emits so let's pass these arguments and the transfer event has three arguments the first one being from then we have two and we have the actual amount this is the from address uh, the address we're sending ether from or in this case our test token then we have the two address and then we have the amount the actual amount 
we're sending. So let's go ahead and console something like event or let's transfer event was emitted. So I don't know if I'm spelling this right, but let's console log all of these arguments, the from, the to, and the actual amount. And this is uh, of type big number, so we need to convert this to string. And okay, so I think now we're ready to go. We're not really calling this function anywhere, so I'm just going to delete this in and call the check events function in this send transaction using ethers function. So we're going to check for event whenever we send the, an actual transaction. So let's go inside our browser and this is automatically refreshed. So click on send transaction with ethers. Let's see if this pops up. It's really slow. We're sending 10 tests to our other extra account. So let's click on confirm. Actually, I think we did it with the wrong account. Let me go up here. This is the account I want to send a test from. So let's do this transaction again. Uh, basically, previously I was just sending a test to myself. So let's click on confirm and currently if I go into my MetaMask you, you can see I have 4980 test tokens and if I go to activity you can see this transaction is pending and after it's done we should have subtracted this like we did right now so and let's see if anything emitted so we had a little technical difficulties here i actually instead of printing out all at once i printed out in print these parameters out in different line and also now i'm just doing json.stringify because if you don't do this i'm just getting some object objects error in my console so I did my transaction again, and as you can see, whoops, I just deleted them. So now the I have done the transaction again, and as you can see, this is the from address. The address we are, we are sending from. This is the recipient address, and then we have the actual amount. In a way, of course, we, have, we are sending 10 test tokens. Mm -hmm.